This is the Kazaranga National Park in northeast India. Protecting this wildlife sanctuary is a dangerous job for the patrolling forest guards. They're constantly under attack from the animal crawling in to number five in the countdown, the leech. These little suckers are armed with an incredible array of senses. Their bodies are covered in light-sensitive cells, which makes them experts at detecting moving shadows and dropping onto anything below. If they don't score a direct hit, they'll follow you by lurching along your scent trail. They have a good incentive, since leeches can go for six months between meals. The warmth of the victim's body guides the final part of the leech's voyage. Leeches have three jaws and 300 teeth that effortlessly slice through your skin. The leech is number five in the countdown because it can swallow five times its body weight in blood. The leech's incredible thirst was recognized by medieval doctors. At their peak in France, it's been estimated that each year, leeches sucked from patients more than one and a half million liters of blood. And it came from the most unlikely parts of the anatomy, according to collector of medical antiquities, Dr. Doug Arbiter. Leeching was done on essentially any part of the body. And um, this is a 19th century leech applicator tube, actually a pair of them. These tubes have a hole in either end, and they were used to put um, in regions of the body that uh, were fairly difficult to get a leech to cling to uh, normally. For example, they were placed in the rectum, um, around the uh, cervix, uh, in the nostril, and uh, the leeches were then um, placed on the edge, and they would crawl right up and attach to where uh, you wanted the patient bled. Strangely enough, leeches are still sucking blood in hospitals today. Here at Tampa General Hospital, these medicinal leeches are going to be put to good use on patients recovering from microsurgery. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Dr. Raymond. I brought the leech. All right. It won't take very long. You won't feel a thing. All right. Reconstructive surgeon Dr. Daniel Greenwald routinely uses leeches as part of post-operative care for his patients. Historically, the leeches were used to draw off the evil humors. The, the theory of health back in those days was that you had good humors and bad humors, and they tried to affect the balance of health, like if you had a bad fever, by drawing off your blood that understanding of biology was incomplete at best and that treatment was discarded because it obviously didn't do anything. Today, doctors make use of the leech's sucking abilities to get rid of excess blood and reduce the swelling that can occur after an operation. In the modern era, we use leeches to help with reconstructive surgery where more blood is coming in than can get out. And that leads to what we call congestion. We need to get that blood out of there so it doesn't clot and it doesn't poison the tissue. Leeches offer us the perfect opportunity to do that. A hungry leech actually promotes healing. By reducing the congestion of pooled blood, it allows fresh, oxygenated blood to reach the wound until normal circulation is restored. I think this guy is done, Lynn. I'm going to pull him off, and then we'll have you hold some pressure with the gauze until the nurse comes and puts a dressing on you, okay? Okay. Okay, you shouldn't feel a thing. While not everybody may like the idea of having a blood-sucking worm on their body, it's still a remarkably effective way of saving an appendage. Other animals have more to lose if they're attacked by a leech. In some ponds, medicinal leeches can literally suck the life out of a helpless frog. It's a terrible way to die, but there's much worse to come in the countdown. <laughs>